Next up, Anthony Richardson, uh, Mr. OTA Day with shoulder soreness. Greg, mm. you're, I feel like you're a little worried about these offseason quarterback injuries. I, I don't like when guys are missing OTA, mini camps, whatever, like in June with an injury. It's just like, it just freaks me out. He had the AC joint surgery on his shoulder in October. He said he's 95% right now, Anthony Richardson. And Shane Steichen, head coach, is like, oh, yeah, this day was unplanned. Like, it was not a rest day that we scheduled. He kind of don't like that. Yeah, do not like that. Don't love that. Like, he's just throwing (laughs) the football in June and he already needs rest. Uh, This just feels so ominous. You know what I mean? Like, well, also, it's the Colts. Probably nothing, but maybe (laughs) literally Andrew Luck, their generational. Their generational quarterback talent in Indianapolis, Andrew Luck, literally just had this mysterious shoulder injury with soreness and just retired. You know, the Colts haven't had a week, the same week one starter two years in a row since like 2018. Oh, yeah. I just, it just worries me, you know, specifically with Superflex, which is our preferred format of playing fantasy football. Quarterbacks are so much more valuable. You're in an, If you're doing an auction draft, you're spending like 40, 50, sometimes $60 on a quarterback. I don't know. DK, does it? Are you less likely to draft Anthony Richardson in a super flex because there's so much pressure on you needing that quarterback to play six or 17 games? When if you're in yeah. a one quarterback league, it's like, all right, Anthony Richardson gets hurt. Like you could probably like pick right, up right. like Dak Prescott off the waiver wire or something like Kirk Cousins. But within it's like, man, I'm spending 60 bucks on Anthony Richardson. And if he like lowers his shoulder in week one, like my whole season's over. Yeah, yeah. I think I mean that that is the the proposition that you come into. It's like if if you're spending a whole bunch of money on one of these guys that has elite potential and they, and then they get hurt or whatever, your whole season is kind of screwed. I don't know. I'm still going to probably draft him though. I'm still going to go for him just because I think he has that much upside. It's it's it is a risk or reward proposition with him. And anybody could get hurt. So obviously we have to find out more with what like how he's doing as OTAs and preseason go along. Like there's going to be more information. Um but while this is disconcerting to say the least, I am still going to be aggressively going after Richardson. I just think he has that much upside. He's like the Cam Newton upside. Is it really I, weird that Anthony Richardson's two years younger than Bo Nix? <laughs> I saw wild. a video. He was on Pat McAfee, Anthony Richardson, and they cut away to a video of him running in a touchdown. And he does. The, did you have you seen the video of him doing like the spin spike? He mm-hmm. like jumps in the yeah. air, does a three sixty, and then spikes it like as he's landing. Left a dent and in the field. That was like the most athletic thing I've seen someone do <laughs> in five years. And yeah. it was a touchdown <laughs> celebration. And I'm like, man, this guy. Dude. Yeah. Oh, also, it. just like in the very small like sample that we saw last year, there were some incredible play designs that the Colts baked up for him. Like where they would have uh, just one that comes to mind is like they had they were running like a sweep. It was like it was like an old school football play where they like two or three different receivers ran to the left. And then he like did a naked bootleg out to the right. And just no one was in like his vicinity. He easily rushed it in. Like they're doing really cool things with, with their run game where he is getting the football and there's a lot of misdirection and things like that. Like, I I don't know, man, like it's not just like, he's, he's so big and powerful. He's going to truck people at the goal line. Like they are designing really freaking cool plays for him to score points too in the red zone. Um, And he has that, you know, the dual, dual threat, uh, skill set that like it, truly like I said this just before like Cam Newton you haven't seen this type of guy since like Cam Newton yeah the best time to draft running quarterbacks is in the first two years of their careers before their coaches are like maybe we should ease up and kind of focus on his long term unless you're Josh Allen who just doesn't give a <laughs> shit he's just going to continue being himself but speaking of Joe Burrow another guy missed the practice last week a voluntary practice. That was on the plan. That was all part of the plan. Though. This was what the difference was. I Still, think. though, they're giving him one day off every week. And I'm yeah. just like, I don't know. I, the quotes around Burrow's wrist are still just weird. Like the there's an interview with Joe Burrow from May. And he's talking about like, this is going to be a challenge and a real process. This has been the hardest, one of the hardest parts of my life the past several months. The wrist is going to hurt sometimes. I want to try to be out there for training camp. I'm like, oh, my, the alarms are going off <laughs> when I hear him saying that. He's not supposed to be the guy to say that. I yeah. totally agree. Like, there's this quote from uh, Ben Baby at ESPN wrote this uh, story this week, and it was about Zach Taylor, the Bengals head coach, said, if you ask Joe Burrow, Joe's going to be out there every day. And that's part of the problem, defending the player from himself. Okay. I don't and know. Just like, uh, and I'm like, <laughs> yeah, you want the guys to be able to play. But I, I, I totally agree, Craig. Every year with the injuries, we kind of have this assumption, oh, they'll be back, they'll be fine. But, like, we're not it, – it's really odd that there's – I mean, it's it's a lightly precedented elbow injury or a wrist injury. Wrist, it's very yeah. lightly precedented. That's kind of 
and it's they don't seem super optimistic about it. Yeah, and like I'm, yeah. I'm, I really want to ha- draft like Jamar Chase this year, but I'm like, I do I, do I want to grab a receiver whose quarterback is already taking days off because his wrist is sore and it's gonna maybe hurt sometimes. <laughs> that sounds like you sound like a boomer. He's already <laughs> taking days off. No he's, work ethic. He's quiet. Quitting. He's quiet. Qu- yeah. No, I'm but like, in all seriousness, so it is one of those things. Days. Yeah, it is one of those things that, like, look, Tua last year with the concussions, you come into the last season. And we overcorrected on that. All anyone was talking about with the Dolphins was can Tua stay healthy? Can Tua stay healthy? And he was fine. The Bengals, it's the opposite. Joe Burrow, the season ending injury, no one's worried about Joe Burrow's wrist. He's hurt every Sorry, year. I keep saying elbows. It wasn't his elbow. I, I just, I don't know why I keep saying elbow. Elbows connected to the wrist bone. But he had the season ending wrist bone, wrist injury. What is wrong with me? I don't I can't know. can't speak English. You know, anyway. You, I mean, this is kind of normal, isn't it? Oh, it's true. My point, that's <laughs> <laughs> far from the course. My point was that Joe Burrow has the season ending injury. And to your point, Greg, it's not priced into anything. No one's worried about it. But like, what happens when TJ Watt tackles Joe Burrow and he puts his wrist out like he's going to do like seven times a game to catch himself? Yeah. And he's getting My- days off in September because <laughs> his wrist is hurting. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, it, it's just, it, it, I don't know. It, you're right. Like that offense, that story where he asked the offensive lineman and they're like, he's like, how they're covering go? He's like, I don't know. I have to throw a ball. And he's like, yeah. oh, cool, cool. Thanks, <laughs> yeah, man. Cool, I still great. have the, it's seared into my memory of like Joe Burrow on the sidelines. The cameras caught him trying to throw a pass and he was like, oh, my wrist. Like, you know, like he could barely throw it. His like, yeah, wrist was like, is nope. just like hanging on by a thread. He's like, oh, fuck me. And like, you know. That sinking feeling that we all had, like, oh, but this is not good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now now we're still talking about it. Uh, so, yeah, again, I, it's June 10th, but something to keep an eye on. Mm. He's already in pain. Uh, next up, the other thing. Or sorry, the pain never left. He's still in pain. Yeah. The pain never left. 